So I recently got my hands on the new Shield TV, which looks much better because the cylindrical design compared to the rectangular one. But the one that really stood out to me is the remote, which is much improved and it's got a bunch of new buttons. It's quite ergonomic and even has a backlight along with IR controls and a quick settings button. By default, it shows you the settings panel, so you can change it to other settings if you'd like. Say, if you want to mute, take screenshots, or other apps or settings that you'd like. But yeah, the cool thing is, it's got its own Netflix button, which by default, obviously, would open Netflix. But if you are someone who uses Kodi more than Netflix, then you can remap it to open Kodi instead of Netflix. Check this out. If I press the Netflix button, it would launch the mapped action, which will then launch Plex. So yeah, it works fine and it's quite practical in the long run. So let's see how you can actually remap the button on your Shield TV and make good use of it. To get things started, we'll use the third party Android app called Button Mapper app. The app is available on Play Store, so you can just ask your assistant to install it. Not an actual assistant, the Google Assistant. Before assigning actions to Shield TV remote buttons, we'll have to enable accessibility service that would allow us to override the pre-existing commands. Open settings and then navigate to device preferences first. And then scroll down to the bottom and select accessibility option from the list. So you'll find a button matter option there. So select that and then toggle enable switch next to it. Now go back to the button mapper app here you'll find a list of buttons to which you can assign actions. You'll see a home button, a back button, and even volume buttons. But then, the Netflix button isn't recognized by the app, so we'll manually add it to the list. Select Add Buttons. The app would ask you to add the button and then press the Netflix button or any button that you want to customize. Now that the button is mapped, simply enable the custom toggle switch and then assign an action. You can choose between three different triggers, single tap, double tap, and a long press. It means that you're gonna assign three different actions to the same button. So yeah, those are the things that you need to do if you want to remap your buttons on your new Shield TV remote. I'll do a video on tips and tricks for the new Shield TV along with comparison with the old one. So if you want to keep an eye out for that, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. While you're at it, check out SmartDNS Proxy if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, there's a bunch of those, including Apple TV Plus, all for about five bucks a month, which is bugger all, yeah? Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.